In Creo Parametric, you can reuse data by copying an assembly and its related drawings under a different file name, and you can do this without having a data management system like Windchill. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly drawing open. You can take a look in the model tree and see the assembly. And I'm going to go to the assembly window just to show it to you. You can see that we have a bunch of different components. And I have open in a bunch of other different windows some of the different parts for that assembly and some of its drawings. So, for example, here's a drawing for the 41031 part. And I'm just going to close a few of those windows. I'm going to mention that in a moment why I am doing that. But before you do this, you need a config.pro option turned on. In another video, I showed you how you could reuse a part model and its drawing. And when you do that, you need to have the option turned on. If you go to File Options and then Options, Configuration Editor, I'm going to scroll down in my list. And the option is called Rename Drawings with Object. I have that set to both. The default is None. You could change that to part or assembly, but both is recommended. So let me cancel out of here. Another thing that you have to take note of is that in order for this save as to work for both the model and the drawing, the drawing has to have the same name as the model. So for example, here I have the part 041070, and here I have the related part as well and it has the same name now i'm going to close these just because of a couple software performance reports i'll put the numbers on the screen here but there are some issues one of them was resolved one of them might still be learning lingering but it deals with when you're trying to save a copy of a part and you have the assembly drawing in session sometimes it can end up creating a copy of the drawing or if you have the drawing of the assembly in session when you are doing the save copy and that drawing has some part representations, some part views on some of the various different sheets, sometimes the drawing might not be retrievable. So the safe thing to do, I'm just going to close any of the other windows, especially for the assembly drawing. And let me go to this one and close it. And then you want to erase out of memory. And I have the erase not displayed icon in my quick access toolbar. If you go to file and then manage session, here we have erase not displayed. And that will take all these different objects out of your computer's RAM. So let's do that. And I've cleared the memory. And again, this is just because of some old lingering software performance reports. Uh, hey, Safe thing to do, just have the assembly open in session when you're going to perform the operation. So let's go to File and then Save As and then Save a Copy. And I'm going to save it to a different folder that I have over here. Let's choose the new file name. And I'm going to call this 04 dash, oops, let me call this 004. Just make it a little different 004 dash 01 dash 51,000. That's going to be my new top level assembly. When I click the OK button, now we get the assembly save a copy dialog box and it lists all the different components in here. You'll notice that a couple are giving errors because this references a renamed model, the top level assembly. And so this one should be saved under a different file name. And as a matter of fact, I want to save all these different parts under a new file name. So I'm going to choose to use a standard renaming template. And I'm going to have, let's see, the original parts are going to be 01-4. And then everything else is after the asterisk. And I want that renamed to 004-01-5. So that's the numbering convention that I'm going to use. Let's select all and then generate the new file names. And so we can see that now it's going to save a copy of all these different components. And here are the different file names. And the important part here is that we're going to copy the drawings as well. This is selected by default. And so now that I'm done, I can choose save copy or save copy and open. Now let's do it, save copy and open. 
And so now I've got my new top level assembly open and you can see all the different components that are inside here under their new file names. Let me go to my folder browser. I'm gonna to go to my working directory and here is the folder that I saved all those files in. And you can see that here we have our new top level assembly. Here we have our drawing and some of the different parts and their copied drawings are in here as well. So again, that's how you can reuse your data by saving a copy of an assembly and its different drawings.